fun cleanup for the ASUS Aspire 5, A5.5. Um, in order to do that, uh, simply remove all the screws from the bottom, um, remove the cover for the RAM, remove the cover for the hard drive, and pretty much every screw that you can see from the bottom. And simply uh, lift up the bottom um, cover by any way you can. It's just, yeah, get a bit of leverage and lift it up like that. This is a heatsink. Remove all the screws from the heatsinks because we also want to replace the thermal paste, not just clean up the fan. Um, heatsink is really good, about so you're not going to be able to uh, need to replace the heatsink itself. Uh, but yeah, by the way, remove the battery connector. So this remove all the screws from the heatsinks. Um, remove the two screws that are holding the fan in place and disconnect the cable with the cable just be careful don't just pull it out using the cable but use the side just wiggle them side to side until it comes off because a lot of time you just snap it so once that's done lift it up and as you can see it's pretty nasty dirty not really bad as a lot of other levels i've seen before but yeah so yeah just clean it up um get a bit of a tissue or brush i forgot to brush it up but it can also use a toothbrush that you have lying around that you don't use and brush it with that because these debris is this uh, dust and stuff that sort of blocks the vents that doesn't let your heat to exit the system remove the remaining two screws from the heatsink that will give you access to the GPU and the CPU clean up the the room uh, the old thermal paste from the heatsink uh yeah because it, it dries out and doesn't give a good connectivity to the thermal paste to the to the to the parts so clean that clean the cpu that's your cpu give it a good clean up and clean up the gpu that's your gpu <clears throat> with the uh, thermal paste, you can buy them for a buck or two on eBay, but the one I have, um, I have, uh, I have, uh, I have, I think it's 10 mil, can't remember the exact size was that, but it's pretty much um, lasts me for quite a while. This one, um, apply the new thermal paste and just spit it out. Um, and also apply the same thermal paste on GPU. It's always a good idea to replace thermal paste once in a while because, as I said, the old GPU, the old thermal paste kind of dries out, and dry thermal paste is never a good idea. Once you've done that, the procedure for putting back in uh, together is the same in reverse, and um, yeah, just want to save some time and just. Do that. All right. Any questions you can ask in the comments below. Have a good day. Cheers.